Question 2. Calculate the coordinates of the x-intercept of f. Again, the same thing applies. The x-intercept is everywhere where y is equal to 0. So we're going to make y equal to 0. So making y equal to 0 it means that f of x is equal to 0. That means 0 is equal to negative 2 over x plus 1 plus 1. Is that correct? Here we go. And if we now solve it, we can solve it by uh, getting x on its own. We do so by subtracting a 1 on both sides. So we get negative 1 is equal to negative 2 over x plus 1. Now we notice to get x on its own we're going to have to multiply numerator and denominator on the left or oh, sorry the uh, denominator on the left and on the right hand side so we multiply with an x plus 1 on both sides uh, x plus 1 on both sides and this now simplifies negative x negative 1 is equal to on this side we're just left with negative 2 over 1 and that means if I just write down my final answer we get uh, negative x is equal to negative 1 which means x is equal to 1 that means the coordinates is x equal to 1 and y equal to 0